Surprise! My husband and I have been trying to get pregnant for over a year. We had a miscarriage shortly after my second daughter was born and we haven't been successful ovulating, getting pregnant, nothing. It's been really hard. Um, there's blessings in that in a way because I lost my dad in October and I can't imagine. I see you! I can't imagine being pregnant and going through that situation and there's just a lot of things that I'm thankful that I wasn't pregnant for, but having two kids and being blessed with their pregnancies and getting pregnant not so hard with them, which I know so many other people struggle with, um, and then having infer secondary infertility um, kind of come out of nowhere has been really hard and heartbreaking, especially after like having the miscarriage and thinking like, maybe this is it like we need to be thankful for the amazing blessings that we have and I don't know it's just been it's been a hard pill to swallow and I know that I'm so blessed and I know that so many women haven't even been able to have any of their own kids and I don't want to sound like selfish or any way but it's still hard and it's still heartbreaking and it's still I don't know it feels like you're not a woman it's like you aren't complete anymore like your body just doesn't function and I don't know. Anyway, long story short though, is I was having some weird symptoms. Let me tell you, I took a pregnancy test yesterday or something. Um, just last week or two weeks ago, I was at the hospital and they had taken a pregnancy test because I was really sick with a weird stomach bug flu issue. And I literally did not expect this. Like no expectation. I took one today just because I was like, man, I keep peeing a lot for no reason. It was negative like pretty much right off the bat i was like didn't expect much anything for whatever reason i kept it with me i looked down and later positive i tried not to get too excited because i didn't want it to be like a false positive because i waited too long or something so then i took two more positive <laughs> um my husband's not home yet i wanted to do a really fun cute way to tell him but honestly i can't wait <laughs> so i'm pretending to give him glasses from 39 dollars classes <laughs> Um, because he needs new glasses, but he'll have no idea. He's gonna open it up and it's gonna be there and I'm so excited. I can't wait for him to see, so. Wait for him to come home with me. What's this? <laughs> I just said this the other day. He didn't care about your husband. I'm just kidding, you always care about me. Well, that stuff doesn't matter, just. Just try him on. Oh my god, I'm nervous. I'm, I don't even know what type of frame you face. I better not look like Harry Potter. Brown Potter. There's a line! What does this mean though? It says HDD. Is that a thing? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a boy! I'm gonna have no baby. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah. <laughs> 
Read the card in front. Somewhere over the rainbow, skies are blue, and there's a little baby that's so excited to meet you. Come on. Look at how much I'm feeling. I feel In November, too. <laughs> What do you think that sign says? I don't know. Spring is coming. No. <laughs> sort of, but not quite. Spring is coming. Do you know coming. what this is? What do you think that is? What is that? <laughs> not for your nails. Don't take the lid off. It's okay, because we'll wash your hands after you. Not for your nails. Ellie, what do you think it is? Uh, is it a paintbrush that has the lid on it? No, Ellie, what do you think? What is it? What is that? It's a marker. No, you don't color with it. Okay, do you want to know? Mm -hmm. It says, we can't read yet, but there's a baby in mommy's tummy. Right <laughs> <laughs> yes. There's a baby in mommy's tummy. Mommy's going to have another baby. <laughs> Not today. Are you sure? I right. promise. <laughs> Ellie, you're going to be a big sister now. You're going to be a big sister. <laughs> <laughs> Ollie, are you excited? Yeah. You might have another baby <laughs> sister or baby brother. It doesn't look like a baby here. Well, it's got to grow. It's got to grow. It's early, so it keeps growing and growing. Guess what? It's due right around your birthday. Yeah, November. The baby's coming right around. It's like a birthday present for you. <laughs> so that's my birthday present. No, but it'll be exciting. You got a baby. So that's, the <laughs> that's, that's the prize? Yeah. That's Are you excited you're going to help take care of me while I'm pregnant? You can use the Doppler and check for the baby's heartbeat. Really are you excited? Yeah. Right, Ellie, are you excited to be a big sister? Yeah, you are. You're excited to be a big sister. <laughs> so, so the doc, so the people go to the hospital, mm -hmm. but ah! Well, they gotta take it. Mommy gets it. They cut uh, her tummy open, and they take the baby out. <laughs> it's okay. Mommy doesn't feel it, and they're careful. That's what happened with you and sister. And then you can come to the hospital and meet the baby when it's November. Oh, no, remember? You, ah! you think it's a boy or a girl? But what is this? That's a pregnancy test. That tells me that I'm pregnant and having a baby. Oh. That's it. It's having baby and mom baby. Yeah, it's not for painting or coloring. <laughs> yeah, you're holding it. like it. <laughs> Are you excited? Yeah! You think it's a boy or a girl? Uh, a girl. Ellie? Or a boy. A boy. You think it's a boy? <laughs> Ellie, what do you think? A boy or a girl? You think a girl? All he thinks a boy. We'll find out. Hey guys, welcome back and hello video. My name is Sarah and I'm pregnant. <laughs> so if you've never seen my channel before and you randomly stumbled upon this for pregnancy related videos, I actually have two other girls, um, two of the little kiddos. My oldest is five and my youngest, now soon to be middle child, is three um, and her name is Eleanor. My oldest is named Olive um, and now we have our little third little bumpkin on the way. I have a couple clips of um, my family finding out, my mom, my uh, my husband, I was trying to call him my boyfriend. That would have been weird. My husband, um, my daughters, myself, all of us kind of finding out and kind of little clips and stuff along the way. So those will either be the beginning, the end, whoever decide to put them, um, but you will see them. And so if you haven't seen my channel before and you're looking for pregnancy videos, I do plan on doing um, bump dates for the most part or uh, pregnancy updates. 
they probably won't be weekly but i will have them um this is not only just for, for those of you who want to follow along who are pregnant with me who are looking just for pregnancy videos or whatnot but also for me so i have memories because this is probably our last baby but like i said if you don't follow me before i am sarah and i make lots of plus size fashion videos uh beauty makeup mommy content what's for dinner cook with me clean with me shop with me decorate with me all of that type of stuff lifestyle stuff mommy stuff so if any of that strikes your fancy i would love it if you hit that subscribe button down below and i am so close to a thousand followers on instagram which i know is a very small number but for me is a big number and i would be so excited if you guys followed me on instagram at sarah england and we are over 16,000 subscribers here on youtube which is crazy and mind-boggling and i am so so thankful for each and every one of you thank you so much for subscribing let's just jump into the pregnancy right okay so I had like little subtle hints here along the way in some of my videos talking about wanting to have another baby, wishing I was pregnant, just little tiny little things here and there. Um, but I don't think I ever explicitly told you guys that we were trying, but we've actually been trying for about a year now. Um, with my first two pregnancies, with Olive, she was a great and wonderful surprise. Um, so she was not, we weren't trying necessarily for her, um, but she has been the greatest gift. With For Eleanor, we did try, we were, um, trying for three cycles. I think we conceived on the third cycle. So this was definitely much harder this time around and a lot more unexpected. Um, my amazing OB did so many tests and blood tests and we did sonograms to see if I was having cyst problems or anything like that and trying to figure out why I wasn't conceiving. Um, and everything came back great. I looked super healthy my thyroid was finally back under control um everything looked wonderful so he was going to recommend for me to see a fertility specialist um at that point any fertility doctors can be incredibly expensive i also knew that this doctor was amazing he was recommending but it was really hard to get into and i kind of just felt like maybe god you know this was it god was telling me that we weren't supposed to have any more it's been almost a year um and maybe our family was just completed this time but lo and behold, I took a test a couple weeks later and wanted to know I was pregnant. Um, and it was kind of a surprise. I feel like every single time I get pregnant, we are never trying or in a way. Like we kind of take the pressure off and I feel like my body responds the best when I'm not thinking about it. And I tend to actually get pregnant and it's been successful for the past three times. So I also did unfortunately we did have a loss um, after Eleanor um, pretty shortly after we had Eleanor it wasn't something that we were trying um, we were trying to actually be really careful at the time because I was still recovering from my recent c-section um, and you're supposed to wait at least a year I think even a year and a half until you get pregnant again um, and we were surprised but we were really really excited and I lost the baby. So um, I was slightly concerned that that could affect later on, but I hadn't, that was my first loss. And then I was thinking like, I know that a lot of times people, you know, that is very common, unfortunately, and most people can conceive and have a healthy baby right afterwards. And so when I just wasn't getting pregnant, I was getting really concerned that something was wrong. Um, but, didn't look like it from any of the tests that we did but lo and behold I don't know God just decided that this was the timing that we were supposed to have and he created life and I am pregnant so I am actually technically due December 1st um I went and had my first ultrasound today and we're actually off a couple days um I'm measuring a little December 1st is when you're due yeah December. but we're not having a baby in December It'll be at least a week to two weeks earlier. Sorry. December December 1st is actually when we are due. Um, my, my husband's sad because he wanted a December baby. He's born in December, but it's not going to happen. December 1st is actually when we're due. I typically do measure a couple days behind. Um, it's normal for me. My doctor and OB aren't concerned. Baby's still looking great, and it's just a couple of days. Um, but this is actually going to be my third c-section so I will probably my OB is very conservative and very safe and so he likes to um, do a c-section at least a week prior just to make sure that there is no 
issues <laughs> um, as well as uh, last time I had high fluid with my pregnancies so I had high amniotic fluid and um, they typically like to deliver earlier too if you have had c-sections before um, just in case of uterine rupture and stuff like that um, so I will if I have high fluid again, it may be two weeks prior, but this will more than likely be a November baby, which is a huge blessing because, and kind of crazy, my oldest um, was born on November 18th, my mom's birthday's in November, my wedding anniversary's in November, and my dad, who most of you guys probably know, passed away in October. His birthday was in November, and I just feel like it's kind of like a big present for him. him. So we have like another really exciting thing to celebrate and life and um yeah i don't know i just definitely feel like he had a hand in this whole thing too i get him getting emotional <laughs> anyway so technically i'm december 1st due to some first but i will have the baby in november um this will be my third planned c-section but like i said we were trying for a year got blessed with it took a pregnancy test completely unaware you'll see i actually didn't even film me just doing like the full whole test at first because i had no faith or no expectation that it would be positive like i just took it because i was peeing a lot randomly i'm very well known to have a lot of utis because of how my physical anatomy is set and so I thought it was that, but it just didn't feel like a UTI. When you are prone to UTIs, you know what a UTI feels like. And it just didn't feel like a UTI. I was just like, man, I just keep needing to go pee all the time. And so I was like, I'll just take a test. Wasn't even thinking about it. Normally I just set it back on the counter. And for whatever reason, I looked at it. Wasn't, it was negative at the time. I put it next to me on the bed. I don't know what I, why I did that. I was editing and then I looked down a couple minutes later and boom, there was a little faint line there totally took me by shock i was so surprised i i just have no patience though i was way too excited and i told jazz in the cheesiest way and you'll see that in the video i wish that i told him in a better way and it was a lot cuter but i just can't wait i couldn't so i told him <laughs> um and then we were told my mom a few days later and uh yeah told the girls and we were all so so excited um we are hoping for a boy. We will be happy and so thankful with whatever girl or boy, but we are hoping, fingers crossed, that it is a boy because this will be our last one. Um, so the reason we just we decided three, three is my lucky number. Uh, it's my favorite number and I don't know, I just, three feels like the right amount for our family. But on top of that, um, the reason that we decided to have our last one now is because um, one, I wanted my kids to be close enough in age. I wanted a good age gap. Like I said, my oldest is five, but she will be six when this baby's born. My um, youngest, now will soon to be middle child, will be about three and a half. So I think it's like a nice good age gap between all of them. And um, I also decided, we decided to do it now because of the advice from multiple of my doctors i can't they keep saying that scene sounds weird i feel like i haven't filmed in so long i know you guys have been wondering where i've been it's because i've been pregnant and feeling like absolute poop but my I, so i'm not used to filming my brain's all over the place anyway um but we decided to have this baby now because my doctors recommended us to have all of my babies before I turned 30 to help re um, greatly reduce my chances of ovarian cancer. So if you don't know, my mom um, is got diagnosed with ovarian cancer three years ago. She is in remission. She's an ovarian cancer survivor and we are so thankful, but she is on lifelong chemo maintenance. So she takes an oral chemo medication every single day. And my grandmother unfortunately passed away from ovarian cancer. She was in her late 90s. She lived an amazing, wonderful life, but she did pass away from it. And my great grandmother also had breast cancer. So with those, we were definitely concerned about carrying the BRCA gene mutation, um, which can cause breast cancer, can cause ovarian cancer, gynecological women, female gynecological cancers. Um, luckily, my mom does not carry those genes. Um, and so that means that I don't and my girls don't, um, which is really great comfort, but it's still super heavy in our family history. So it's something I have to be careful of and just be mindful about. And so my doctors recommended to reduce my risk the best that I can is to have all my babies before I turned 30, 
to breastfeed as long as I can. I was not successful with my first two, so here is trying. I want to try so hard with this one. Um, and I, a lot of people recommend to stay on um, birth control. Birth control makes me a whole completely different human being and affects my quality of life so much. Hormones really affect me. So I will not be going on birth control. Um, it's just not for me. I, it, it's not. I change it to a different person. Um, so, to be, help myself as best as I can, it would be having my babies early, breastfeeding for as long as I can, um, as well as in my early 40s, having um, my ovaries removed, my fallopian tubes removed, all that type of fun stuff to look forward to. So, anyway, that's my greatest help to prevent. Of course, that's not a guarantee. It can still happen, um, but yeah i'm just trying to be the best i can for my family and for myself and all of that type of stuff so um that is why we're having it now please let me know if you have any questions down below and i will try to remember to answer them in my next video so i think i told you all about pregnancy so far like finding i was pregnant trying why trying to make sure i'm covering all my bases i haven't filmed in so long so i feel like so out of it that's actually why i haven't been around because I've been pregnant and feeling terrible and I will get to my symptoms next and kind of how this pregnancy is going um, but yeah that's why I haven't been around so I'm really sorry I should have said that at the very beginning I've missed you guys so much but my brain's all over the place right now and I'm not used to filming so I'm kind of out of it so I think I got everything covered for the most part as far as like all the stuff I want to talk to you beforehand so let's move on to this actual current pregnancy symptoms all that type of stuff so um with my last pregnancy Eleanor it was a really really rough one I was high risk um I was really sick I was on bed rest for a huge majority of that pregnancy um I had hematomas placental previa uh high fluid um there was multiple threatened miscarriages just a bunch of it was rough it was a rough pregnancy i was really sick i did not feel good i got the flu the last like two weeks before it was a rough rough one um so before getting pregnant i was scared that this would be bad again um luckily so far fingers crossed everything looks good i did have that ultrasound today no hematomas so far no bleeding um no uh placenta previa my fluid they can't tell until i'm farther along but fingers crossed that's good um yeah, so, so far so good. I do have quite the symptoms though, I guess I would say. Some days I don't feel pregnant at all, or parts of some days I don't feel pregnant at all, and then other parts I'm miserable. So um, definitely have morning sickness. It took a little while to start. With Olive, I didn't get it till way late in the game. Um, I didn't even find out I was pregnant with her until I was like eight weeks along, and then I got morning sickness at the very end of my first trimester through the beginning of my second trimester with her. Eleanor, from the get-go, I was like, took a pregnancy test the next day. I had terrible morning sickness. Um, this pregnancy, it started around week five was pretty consistent all week five really strong week six and then week seven it's been like really really intense part of the day and then like in the morning it's been totally fine it's just it's kind of all over and of course when you've experienced a loss you can just you just are on edge you're on edge all the time i'm already an on edge person i'm already anxious all the time and so um when your symptoms kind of subside for a little bit you're like oh my gosh something's wrong but then they come back and then you're like dreading it so yes morning sickness has been rough my only things that have helped me thus far have been drinking really cold carbonated drinks um the colder the more carbonated the better not something that's incredibly sweet um just something that's just like cold and like sharp almost um water tastes like death to me it's so bland and so blah it's really hard for me to drink cold warm whatever i can't uh, trying slowly getting there speak of the devil slowly getting there but um it's a rough one um but just like i really like the ice brand 
sparkling water beverages those are really great when they're really cold and you just crack it open and it's like oh those are really good um, and refreshing um, yeah that's about it as well as the only other thing that's helped me and I've known this every pregnancy and have never actually done it but being able to be like consistently having something in your stomach and I'm not saying like eating meals every hour but just like having something in your stomach every, like having a couple crackers every two hours having a banana having something like that every couple hours and just constantly having something in your stomach helps so much in the beginning I was nauseous and then I didn't want to eat so then I allowed myself to become even more nauseous and it only made it worse it just kept growing and growing and growing it never got better so you have to get up you have to make yourself eat something and it'll start like curbing it a little bit. Oh, it helps so much for me. It doesn't take it away completely, but it makes a huge difference in how I feel. Um, I luckily haven't gotten sick and been throwing up a whole lot or anything like that. Just terrible nausea. Um, and the things that work for my nausea haven't been necessarily the healthiest, but at this point I'm just trying to survive. I'm talking like carbs. That for whatever reason it really helps. It like fills my stomach, it makes me feel a lot better than if I like ate a bunch of fruit and normally makes me feel really sick. Um, it's like it's like it's not meant to be there or something. Like the carbs are comforting and they work, whereas like fruit or like eating a bunch of carrots, I did that with hummus, which I was craving and it was great while I was eating it but then afterwards it's like it just sits there weirdly or something like it's just not meant to be there right now or something I don't know it's been strange but um I carbs have been working well for me some crackers some breads some bananas those things tend to work the best um and cravings wise I've been craving fruit I've been craving sweets um, if that's a telltale sign of gender, it will be a girl because I've craved sweets throughout all of my pregnancies. Um, I don't know why. And in the very beginning, I always crave like international foods and international sweets every single pregnancy. It's like I go on a rampage of watching like mukbangs and watching people eat like random crazy Chinese noodles or Japanese noodles and all of that type of stuff or like I don't know it's so weird and now thinking about it makes me want to vomit but I it's every single pregnancy I want to get like those international snack food boxes where you try a different country every month or stuff every single time it's so weird to me but then it like fades and then I'm like I can't even think about it um honestly though my cravings I don't feel like have been incredibly strong if I'm craving something I will crave it once and if I eat it then it's like afterwards i'm like i never want to have it again it's kind of where it's at it's a one and done thing it's not like oh i'm craving pickles and i crave them for that's all i can eat it's like i eat it once and then it's like never again i don't want to see it um i other than that other than that symptoms wise um really vivid dreams that's normally kind of actually my first symptom before i realize i'm pregnant is i get really crazy in-depth detailed dreams um like detailed detailed dreams Vivid dreams, I've been peeing out the wazoo, but that's pretty normal for me in general. Um, I unfortunately get a lot of UTIs too with pregnancy, it's just how I'm physically made. I don't want to go into that. Um, anatomy wise, there's some issues. So I get a lot of UTIs and um, that's happened already three times, so that's been so fun. Other than that, I just don't feel good like I just I don't have a lot of energy I'm tired I'm grumpy I constantly feel like I'm about to get the flu is kind of how I feel I'm not actually getting the flu or getting sick but it just feels like you're that like achiness you're tired you just don't feel good your stomach's upset it's just uncomfortable you don't feel good when you lay down like that like I'm just uncomfortable all the time doesn't matter if I'm trying to go to bed or if I'm in bed or if I'm walking around like I'm just don't feel great and when I do feel good I'm like trying to be high on life and live my best life for that so I can enjoy it but you know it's pretty short lived and then it just like blew down. So right now I'm feeling good. Also have probably a high from like being able to go to the doctor and everything being okay with that but um, normally I just kind of like meh. Um, I also this has happened all three pregnancies but I do not want to be touched. My husband I love him to death I think he's like the sexiest man alive but I he becomes like my bro 
when I'm pregnant to me, like I just like, I wanna be near you, I wanna talk to you, I wanna love you, but I don't want to touch you. Like, I don't know what it is. I don't wanna be touched. I don't wanna be cuddled. I don't want, it's like I have my big bubble and it's like, I don't want you in it. Anybody, like <laughs> not even just my husband. Like I just, I don't know, physical affection, it goes out the window when I'm pregnant. I feel so bad for him, but it's just how it is, man, I hate it. Um, it's so weird. I don't know why that happens. Please let me know if any of that happens to you. Other than that though, I think that's about it symptoms wise. I feel like I'm starting to get more like hairbrained pregnancy brain where it's just I'm like spazzing out and forgetting things. But that hasn't gotten too terrible yet. But other than that, yeah, I think that's it for symptoms as of now. I'm wearing sweatpants, so. Business on the top, party, pajama party on the bottom. Okay, so I decided that I'd also show you a couple of things that I've been really liking. Um, and I also wanted to say that I will be doing pregnancy clothes, maternity clothes, try on hauls, um, actually for looking for plus size maternity clothes. I do typically lose weight when I'm pregnant, um, a lot during the first trimester because I don't want to eat. And I just, I don't know, I lose, I just, that's just how it works for me. I mean, I gain weight, obviously, I don't know. Just let me know if you were kind of the same weight. I lose, I typically lose weight around everywhere else besides my giant stomach, which will get huge. Um, but a lot of it has to do with like not wanting to eat food. Um, so my body does kind of ebb and flow a little bit and kind of gets weird in places. But for the most part, I still will be sticking to plus size um, clothing and maternity clothes. Um, and I wanted to share that with you. So I want to share, you know, actual plus size maternity clothes options and brands and stuff like that because it's so hard to find. They're either really expensive very seldom of a selection and or not very cute and it frustrates the living heck out of me plus size clothes are starting to you know come up there's more brands more size inclusivity of maternity clothes still pretty much nothing um but there are some things that i would like to share them with you and on top of that a lot of times in my hauls when i'm not pregnant i like to say like oh i think this would work really well for pregnancy because it's hard to find plus size maternity clothes. So if I can find something that works well now for non-pregnant as well as for pregnancy, I'd like to share that with you. And so I plan on doing a lot of straight size clothing, not straight size, not straight size, plus size clothing, but maternity clothing, non-maternity clothing. Oh my gosh, my brain. Just regular plus size clothing, but trying to make it work for my growing abdomen. <laughs> so if you're pregnant along with me and you're plus size and you're looking for some clothes, I hope that I can help you out with that as well. Please let me know down below if you are also pregnant um, so we can just talk and hang out and how far along you are, when your due date is, if you're excited, if this is your first kid, your second kid, how you feeling about being pregnant during quarantine, all that type of stuff. Okay, so I wanted to share with you um, the couple of things that I've been really liking and using to help you guys out if you're looking for some stuff. The first thing is for fertility. So if you're trying to get pregnant, the reason I'm sharing this with you is I don't know if this was the thing that worked or it wasn't the thing that worked. I don't know, but it couldn't help to try. I took these for like a week and I was pregnant like the next week or the week after. No, I guess it was two weeks after. Excuse me. So I don't know if these were the magic pill that worked or not, but these are the Pink Stork Total Fertility Conception Support. These um, you can get, I got these on Amazon. They have rave reviews, like thousands of reviews on Amazon. Really good reviews as well as I think you can also get these at like Target and Walmart and stuff like that. Um, they weren't very expensive. I only took maybe a handful because I'm not pregnant. <laughs> But I don't know if this helped, I don't know, but it's worth a shot if you are struggling to get pregnant or you're just looking for some fertility support and stuff like that. I don't know, She's um, it's a woman-owned woman company um, and they put God first, which I really like. And I don't know, I just think it's an awesome company. I like what they stand for and if these helped me, I hope that they helped you. So I thought I'd share, with the, share those with you. I will try to make sure I link them down below. Um, and the other thing that I can't use quite yet, I should be able to use within this next week to next couple weeks, is a at-home Doppler. Now, um, these are kind of controversial. People have their feelings. There's been study after study after study shown that Dopplers have no negative effect on your pregnancy. Um, but I, some people just don't like to use them. It's, it's totally up to you and your discretion, your OB's, whatever, you know, what his opinions and his advice are for you. This helps me a lot um, because I am anxious and I do have anxiety and I do 
have panic attacks and um, just get really fearful. So these help me a lot, just kind of put me at ease. Are they the end all be all? Are they gonna tell me 100% if my baby's healthy and doing 100% fine in there? No, but it does let me hear the heartbeat. It does help me feel comforted, uh, especially in the early weeks when I can't feel any movement yet. But just to know that little heart still beating away is really helpful and really comforting. Um, this is the Sonaline B Doppler. This is actually my second one. I had one for my first two pregnancies and I used it pretty much until it's dying day. And so I got a new one for this last pregnancy. My the lovely Easter Bunny, AKA my husband got this for me. Um, it was about 50 or so dollars, maybe 60, something around there. I will have it linked below. Um, you can rent them, but they're a lot more expensive. I think this works really great. And I don't know how accurate the actual reading is. I try not to go by that, um, but just know that I can hear the heartbeat comforts me. So, buyer beware, I guess, in the sense of like, it is a medical instrument, but you are not a medical doctor unless you are you know what I'm saying you know anyway um <laughs> it does come with like a little bottle of ultrasound gel um but if you don't want to repurchase that you can always buy a bottle of aloe vera that works amazing and it's hydrating for your tummy so anyway just thought I'd share that with you um I also wanted to share the apps that I've been using the main ones that I really like when I'm pregnant have been what to expect um, I just like now they have like you can't even see that Kate. Um, they have like 90s items and so this is like a lemon head candy which is kind of fun and they had like a little letter beads a couple weeks ago and stuff I just think it's fun um, and they have like a full I mean they talk about the baby you all of that stuff and they have a bunch of different articles this one's good um, along with, I really like Pregnancy Plus because, um, I like when you go onto the baby and you can see the full baby and it can move around and the little heart beating and it tells you about everything. Um, I like that a lot. And then I also have Ovia Pregnancy. Ovia's fun because, well, tomorrow, <laughs> it did say it today, but I recalculated my due date it'll show you how big their hands will get how big their feet will get it'll go by fruit I think um, to say how big they are and yeah I don't know I, those are my pregnancy apps that I like um, I do like to use what to expect community boards and just talk to other women on there I also really like baby list for your registry this basically creates a registry all in one place so from all of the different retailers you can go to Amazon Etsy um, Target, Walmart, Bye Bye Baby, everywhere. It all puts it in one th uh, one little place. I don't have very much added on there yet, um, but I really like that too. And I will try to make sure I write down the apps below. Um, we will be finding out the gender, but I probably won't share it. I don't know, don't hate me. I don't know, I think we're gonna wait until the end to share it with everybody. Uh, Jazz and I thought about not finding out, but I can't do that, so. <laughs> but I think I may wait to share with everyone um, the gender at the end, as well as our name choice. I know that's not fun, I know you guys are like, boo. Um, but, I don't know, we'll see. I do plan on finding out the gender during, during a blood test, uh, probably next week. So it will be a bit earlier when we find out, which is kind of exciting. And I think that is it. Like I said, I hope I went through everything and I answered your questions. Please leave them down below if you have anything else. Um, this is our timeline. This is what works for best with our family and why we're having our baby now. Um, I know it kind of is like putting the cart before the horse because we still live in an apartment. We do have plans. We are planning through that whole thing. There's a whole reason of all of this stuff, um, but it is kind of personal and I don't really feel that I should share that. So, um, but we do hope within like the next year we have a nice, beautiful home and house that we are blessed with um, for our family. Um, but this is this is what our plans are right now. So we're super, super excited. I hope you guys are excited too. Like I said, if you're pregnant, please let me know down below. Um, I can't wait to share this journey along with you. I am so excited, you guys. 
and this is a good day it's a big big thing we are so blessed and so thankful um and i can't wait to kind of go along this journey with you guys and thank you so much so i would love it again if you subscribe if you haven't already and if you're here for pregnancy videos i gotcha let me know what other pregnancy related things you'd like to see if you'd like to see um names that maybe we're not choosing um i love watching those videos i love love figuring out baby names so if you have if you want ideas with that i do plan on doing like hospital videos uh you know fun baby hauls all of that type of stuff so yeah i'm excited and i thank you so much for watching i will see you all very soon in my next video guys i'm so sorry i've been so behind and so gone it's just i've been feeling terrible so i've been taking some time off but i'm hopefully gonna be back in action and now you know guys now you know so um i will see you all soon in my next video bye guys